Okay, so in this video we are talking about Superbase real time and how we can stream changes automatically to our Flutterflow apps. So uh, in your Superbase projects, if you was to go to database and publications, this way you've got the Superbase real time setup and you can enable it for insert, update, delete or truncate actions on the tables. And if you click on the source, you can enable it for uh, the different tables in your in your database. Now, if you notice there, I do not believe you can do it for foreign data wrapper tables. Unfortunately, you can only do it for. And likewise, trigger functions don't work on those either. You can only do it for your own tables. So, if we go back. To Publications. So all you have to do in Superbase really is enable it. So enable which actions you want to take place and enable the tables that you want to um, that you want to do. So if we head over to the project that I am demonstrating here over in Flutterflow. Okay, so this is the simple chat app which I built a few weeks ago so it's just a very simple group chat application just a sort of a practice really for those that want to learn a few different things and well i think said at the time that the way we were doing the automatic message fetching wasn't ideal we weren't using superbase real time we weren't streaming them we were actually running a periodic action to essentially go and refresh the database every five seconds or ten seconds whatever just to see if the chat was going on which works obviously but it's really not the ideal way of doing it and i'll just show on the screen now how that pure action was set up uh, but you can link to this the link to that video is going to be on the screen somewhere you can go back and follow that and and look at that and um and see how you do it so what I thought then use this is a great example to use for the Superbase real time streaming. Now it's actually not massive you don't actually have to do that much, to be honest with you. So if we open the actions, I've got rid of the periodic action and it's this is as you can see this is a lot simpler. So we've got a custom action and we're put called listen for us listen for user updates. We're passing in the name of the group as a string. So in this app we've got group chats and so where's the groups page we've got names of groups so we are passing in the name of the group to the custom action and we're doing this on page load so just so you know so on page load that's where we're doing it passing in the group and we're returning the output action that put variable name is going to be called new message and all we're doing to check in is if it's set so therefore if there is a new message within the database return message i.e. what we're getting from the update so what it does when there's an update the message becomes set obviously it's rather than unset so there isn't an unset version I guess because because of this way it works it only sends you when there's a live update it listens and subscribes to publication which I'll go to the code in a minute and only when there's an update does it the, does the Superbase send the message to um, to Flutterflow so therefore when it's set i.e. when you get a message we're just refreshing the database request so that's for our list view so we're refreshing the database request for our list view now the table we are checking is messages so if I go to the project this is a different project that I just had up a second ago this is one actually for the um, for the chat app we are checking the messages table and every time a new message comes into the table it will essentially send stream whatever that information to Flutterflow because we are listening for it essentially and that's what the custom action does so as soon as you load the page it starts listening and every time there's a change in the messages table you'll get a new um, a new message come up so the function we have got is listen for changes or listen for updates rather and it's quite a long one um, so this actually is 
most of this is actually in the Superbase documentation. So basically, um, we've got Superbase real time docs and we've got some examples if we go to Flutter. Okay, so this is the base of which the Flutterflow custom action is built and we're listening for inserts because every time there's a new the messages get added to so every time there's a new message we then can send the payload back to Flutterflow basically and this is what it is this is what it was built on so if we head back so as you can see there we're listening for inserts on public schema table messages and we're filtering by group i.e the group we're passing in to the function as a parameter and that is the name of the group so every time we are in our chat group so this particular group whatever that one's called and every time there's an update sorry an insert so therefore the tables updated within with a new record we will receive a message back saying here's a new record and then we are on page load then we are refreshing the database quest so when there's an insert the, the new message return value is obviously then set because it's it only sends a message if there's an insert and then therefore we send reversion database request and that's what's repopulating our list view now there's loads of uses for this um, and the things we really need to change is your arguments you're passing in and your tables your filter value which obviously will probably be your argument you're passing in anyway we could hard code it obviously and really um, whether you're looking for an insert or an update or a delete or whatever so like I say there's there's plenty of uses you can do for this with all kinds of different um, all kinds of different database actions where you want where the database can be updated by a user or other users and then therefore it's constantly being refreshed and this is the probably the best way of doing it rather than doing it with the periodic actions we were doing earlier which is obviously not ideal although they are necessary in some instances but not when we're doing this so uh, that's how we do it so I'm just going to fire up this app and show you how it works and we'll go from there okay so we're logged in I'm loving the debug panel by the way I uh, think that's great actually a really really good good addition to uh, Flutterflow so if we click on the group it takes to our message messages and we say I've been talking to myself um, as you do when you are testing these things out so what I'm going to do I'm just going to write myself a message so what should we tell ourselves this time I'm going to spell Showing YouTube how this is the database, and then there we go. And then what I'll do, I'll send myself a message back. Okay, and the message I'm going to send myself is please remember ask for a like and subscribe. Please remember to ask for a like and subscribe. So post that message and there we go it's appeared so what's happened is the payload has come back with a new message so we've just done the database refresh and it's landed on the landed on the screen there so that's how it works actually pretty straightforward once you've got the function code working correctly um, which if you copy and paste this it will be available in the link down below as always just go to the website copy and paste it off the page and use it as as, as you will once you've got that bit working and you've ticked the right boxes in Superbase um, it's actually pretty simple and as you imagine there's loads of uses anytime you've got an update in a database um, this will work and chat being the obvious one and we already built a basic chat app anyway so I thought I'd use it and that to show you so that's it hopefully that's useful and you can use it across your projects if you do feel it useful please do consider that like subscribe it is very much appreciated and I will speak to you next time